in Sozzle Variation Tool, we're now in a new generation of that tool with the current software, but it's been around for a while. I've really seen the difference in my anterior classes of the bar being raised. I've enjoyed grinding in what we call our labial contouring. Those are primary, secondary, and tertiary contouring. The primary contouring is, is the major deal here of those three. You will find that software now will give you a variety of various contours that you can scroll into your labial surface and you get a really great result. Now, here's one caveat. When you're applying your label contouring using incisal variation, you want to get the look you want by scrolling. And we're very visual people, so we're looking at it on the screen and we're getting that beautiful contouring. Then what you want to do <laughs> is close your eyes and add about another 15%. Now, when you add another 15%, it's going to look a little rowdy, but that will mill to what you saw you liked. So this tutorial will go through those concepts, but in styles of variation is really working pretty well right now. And I can just imagine that this is gonna keep evolving. Even though it says in styles of variation, it, I would call it more labial variation <laughs> because it's really defining our labial surface. I'll tell you, if you look at good aesthetics, that really defines it, the light reflection. So the light reflection is defined by our finish, which is on top of that nice lobing, and that ripple effect that we get on our labial surfaces, and it varies for different people. It's like a fingerprint. But when you learn to master that, and you don't have to be a master ceramist to master that with CEREC because it's in the software. And I really like that a lot, and I think we're very blessed to have that feature so let's talk about it.